shot. Totally meant to do that. Totally meant to hit the right foot. Didn't need the left one. Just the right one. Woo! I am fat and out of shape. the last bunch of sheep still on the desert. We decided to shear them out there in order to gain a few more days on the range before bringing them home and feeding them hay until they lamb. Although it saves us lots of feed, it takes a lot to get sheared on the desert. We need to have a place to stay, a semi to bring out hay for the sheep staying in the krill overnight, a tractor to load all the wool onto the same semi to get it home, Enough help to make sure we can get the sheep in the krill and down the chute to the shearing plant. Not to mention where the krill is, is down a long dirt road and a long ways from anything. With camp set up and all the sheep in the krill, all we needed to get going was the crew to get here and get to shearing. With everything set up and running, we started running sheep through the krill and into the shearing plant to get a much needed haircut. As the sheep get to the front of the krill, we sort off the black sheep and the yearling sheep in order to keep them separate. The yearling wool is a little shorter than the other ewes, and the black wool, since it can't be dyed, is not worth quite as much as the white wool. While we're shearing, it's important that the black sheep are sheared last in order to keep all the black fibers of their wool out of the white piles. In this shearing crew, there are eight shearers in two plants that are hooked together by a bridge. As the sheep are shorn and the wool is taken off, it is passed through the side to two guys working on the outside, gathering, sorting, and pressing all of it into heavy bales. When the sheep are finished, they're let out of the side of the plant to get back on feed and water. Most of the time they wait their turn, but every now and again there's a sheep or two that jump out of the chute before they can get shorn, so it's up to us to round them up and get them back in the plant. Be rock, we're gonna go catch these sheep. Got a couple of woolly ones that escaped out of the plant, so we gotta search for them, to get them roped, tied down, put into the chute, and it's time to get a haircut. We have Mr. Murdoch over here. He's got himself a blue cactus rover. Let's see if he can round up this woolly sheep. He goes in for the kill. He throws. Oh! I thought it was on. It's been a long day of shearing today. We started about. 8.30 and it is just about 7 o'clock now. Been shearing, just finishing up the last little bunch. Been separating out all the yearlings. We're gonna shear them tomorrow and then bring them home after that. The rest of them are getting let out here and headed out back out to the range. The herders gathering them up, bringing them on over to the water. We're just gonna go get all this wool loaded up on the flatbed trailer over there get that taken care of, go get a shower and have some dinner. With all the wool loaded and sheep done for the day, we fed the ones that were going to stay in the corral and be shorn the next day and gathered the ones that were already done to get them on the range and back on good feed. We were 
were able to shear for a couple of good days. Got everything done, and with all the sheep now ready for lambing, we loaded all the wool, the tractor, packed up camp, gathered up all the sheep, put them in the crail, and headed home to get the truck so we could load and bring them home the next day. After weathering through a dust storm and about losing all our hats, we are able to get all the sheep loaded on the trucks and headed for home. It's time to get them back to the ranch and start lambing. It's a long ways out here, and let me tell you, when you drive all the way home, sleep for a few hours, get in a different truck, go all the way back, load, and turn around and go home, it can get kind of tiring. At the end of all the long dusty days on the desert, it's hard to complain when you get a look out at a beautiful view like this one. We're a blessed to call this our office, and it never gets old seeing it.